Jiggy Cat On a damn feeling spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And be hanging like a center Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here Hope you guys are having a great day for today In episode 6, I'm going to be teaching you guys On how to install Aurora Dashboard On your Xbox 360 And this does work with RGH and JTAG model Xbox 360s With that being all out the way as well We're going to go ahead and showcase The prerequisites for today And anything I state plus what useful links Or other written guides will be in the link In the description down below So first things first, all you need is a Xbox 360 That is either a JTAG tag or rgh as long as your console can run unsigned code then you're basically good to go for this process you will need xex menu version 1.2 for this process as well you'll also need xbox 360 neighborhood sdk and um this is optional but you can you know transfer files via with a usb as well you'll also need a xbox unity.net account which i'll be showing you guys in detail on how to set up it's pretty easy on how to set this up and it doesn't take too long but it is needed for this process if you want cover art for your games and all of that stuff you will be needing the aurora 0.7b release package .roar, and as well you'll need the a or basically you need a interconnect excuse me an internet connection from your xbox 360 running since um basically within aurora you need to download the cover art from their um xbox unity servers so that's how it's actually pulling that um via from if you guys have any questions let me know via in my discord in the comment section down below but I just want to give a special thanks out to Shadow Bullet for helping me out with all of my guides and stuff like that. But with all of that getting started, let's go ahead on the PC side of things and set this up. Alrighty guys, so I actually did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro. Let's go ahead and get started on setting up Aurora. So what you need to do is go in the link in the description down below. First things first, I will have the latest Aurora package you could download. It'll be in Aurora file, so you will need WinWar for this. If you don't already have WinWar installed, um, you could just go ahead and link, excuse me, in the link in the description down below and download it. But all you got to do is right click over it, extract files here, hit OK, and basically this is Aurora right here. What you could do is either transfer this over to a USB or you could use Xbox 360 neighborhood uh, for this process. But what we wanna do now is just go ahead, um, before we even get this transfer over via to a USB or Xbox 360 neighborhood, we're gonna go ahead and open up Xbox Unity, uh, this website right here, since we need this to for Aurora to get our games cover art. So for this process, all you gotta do is hit register here. You could type your name and stuff like that. Um, I recommend just using a throwaway um, email address or something like that. Um, that's why I'm using temporary 10 minute mail. So I'll just uh, restart this mail so I have it at 10 minutes. But what we're gonna do is just from the Xbox Unity thing, I'm just gonna call myself, I don't know, Zen uh, username Nagato Zen 12, that could be it. The email, we could just go ahead and copy it right here um password you could just label any password you want it really doesn't matter i'm not too oh it has to be eight characters so yeah make sure your password is eight characters for this so that's what i'm doing here just typing it in and then do the same for here so fill out basically all of this stuff just for you know the tutorial purpose and then boom all right and then all you got to do is type in zen or excuse me so it added our user all we got to do now is just basically go into 10 minute mail if we uh refresh it i believe or let me see for a second oh it added our user so let me just go ahead and send again okay so yeah as showcased here you may have to like resend it on a website but you should get a activation link all you got to do is just go ahead and open this link so just highlight over it and open up a new tab and then you should have your interface so once you have this fully done what you need to do is rememorize your um username and basically for this i'll show you guys in a war this will be a or this needs to connect to our the unity account via within rr so just go ahead i'm gonna go and copy this into a text pad my id and then from right now what we're gonna do is just go back into our desktop right now 
I'm going to minimize this. Since I have my Xbox 360 on, I'm going to just open up Xbox 360 neighborhood to transfer my files over just to, you know, make this tutorial faster. If not, you can use XCX menu and a USB. Um, I'm assuming by now you guys should know how to use Xbox 360 neighborhood. If not, I will have a card and a link in the description down below on how to utilize it. But here is me transferring my files via with Xbox 360 neighborhood go into retail hard drive emulation and then from here what you want to do is just go ahead and drag aurora to this partition right here and then once it's fully uh transferred over we're going to go to the 360. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the steps on the PC and now you already transferred Aurora via with Xbox 360 neighborhood, what you need to do now is just straight go into your Xbox 360, make sure your controller is on of course. What you want to do is go into your games column right now, go into my games. Then what you want to do is go into XEX menu version 1.2. Make sure you already have this installed onto your console as well, because if you don't, um, I will have that in the link in the description down below on where to download that file from. Plus, I will have a installation guide showing you on how to do that. But once you are in XEX menu, assuming that you already have it installed onto your device, what you want to do is hit RB onto your controller. I'm going to scroll down to HDD run. And then what you want to do is go ahead and where it says Aurora 07.B release package, you just go ahead, scroll all the way down to where it says Aurora.xex and make sure for this process your network is on and basically you have a internet connection set up. So if your Wi-Fi is disabled, go ahead and make sure it's enabled since we basically need um, to connect Unity for this process. So I'll show you guys on how to do this. If you have a bunch of games on your 360, it will take quite a while for it to um, you know show up within Aurora. So make sure um, if it takes out too long, um, it's just fine. It's just basically loading up all your titles that are included in here. So as you see here, it's only showing one game right now because this is the game I have within my um, actual disk drive. But let's go ahead and get this fully set up so we could, you know, launch or as our main dashboard. All we got to do now is hit um, settings or basically start on your controller. And now what we need to do is go ahead and hit profile. You could, um, me personally, I'm not going to set my profile to select at boot or auto sign in since I don't even care about you know, like using online and stuff like that. So I'm just going to click none. Um, enable Unity connection. Go ahead and hit enable for yes. And now what we need to do is type in our accounts username that we set up via with Xbox Unity. So mine's was, oh, if I go down here and type it in. So just go ahead and hit your username. What you want to do is type in your user ID. So mine's was Nagato Zen 12. Then you can hit done on your controller. From here, you want to request your ABI key and then it will ask you for your Unity password that you created on that site. So I'm going to go ahead and type mine in now just real quick. I think I typed it in correctly. So and then if everything went through, you should get your automatic API key. If it didn't generate an API key, either you didn't set up your account correctly with Xbox Unity, or basically you typed in your um, username or password wrong. But once you get your API key, it will self-generate that from online. What we wanna do now is go into our contents folder right here, where it says um, title updates. Just go ahead and hit auto scan. And now what we wanna do is add and manage paths. So let's go ahead and set our paths for our game. So our depth, keep that at two, change location, um, or basically for our games, we're just gonna go call that applications, go into change location, and then we're gonna find where our games are located at. So whether if you have it on an external device or if you have it via on a your internal hard drive like I do, I'm gonna show you guys on how to get that set up. So if I go into HDD1, scroll all the way down to my Xbox 360 games folder, I'm gonna go in here. You can see that I have all of my games into one folder just like this. So if I back out, you wanna make sure you highlight that by hitting Y. So as you see here, the path is now set to Xbox 360, system, HDD1, Xbox 360 games. So that's for my games. I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. I'm also gonna add a, another path for my other applications. So my classic um, Xbox games or original Xbox games. So I'm gonna go to applications once again, go into change, scroll all the way down where it says, I believe ACD one, 
if you have your Xbox games into like a separate folder. So I called mine Xbox Classic Games. You can see that I have Halo, Jet Set Radio, Minute Club 3 Dub Edition. I'm gonna go ahead and right click over this folder or hit Y, not right click, but Y. Um, you can see that I have that. Make sure you save that directory as well. Um, we're gonna also add another path if you have emulators. So I have some emulators, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the location. Go to ACD1, scroll all the way down where I have my um, emulators folder at. I'll just show you I have a couple in here. And then let me go ahead and find my emulator. So hit Y and then save. Also, what I do recommend um, for this process as well, if you have any homebrew, anything such as Freestyle Dash or a um, basically Dash Launch, I do recommend doing this because if you want to set this as your main um, dashboard, you want to have that path installed since it's easier to get back and forth if ever you want to toggle back out and use the regular Xbox 360's dashboard. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to add one more um, path. I'm going to label this as homebrew, change location, and right now I'm going to go to HDD1. I want to find my dash launch folder, press Y for here and save. You can have all your homebrew in one folder as well if you want to, but I just have mine on HDD1. So all of our um, basically our paths are set and ready. You can change your language if you need to. Um, there's also, you wanna make sure your modules is on to active. So make sure you have that ready set up. You can also have security and stuff like that if you want to. And you could have updates if this ever had an update. So if I go ahead and hit B, you can see that some of my stuff is already getting updated as is. So, um, because I guess it's taking its time to download the cover art from the servers. But you can see that Jet Set Radio Future is here. You can see that I have Dash Launch here as well. Um, other cover arts, I guess, is downloading from the server itself. It may be taking time. So yeah, in the right hand corner, I didn't even notice that it is downloading items. So we could get our cover art for a game. But yeah, essentially, once it's fully done downloading all of our um, content, we are able to basically boot into our games and stuff of that nature so i'll just wait till uh you know most of it is done and then i'll come back show you all my cover arts are here and then we're going to just launch a game from this section and then as well at the end of this once we launch a game we're going to boot back into aurora and i'm going to show you guys on how to run aurora at boot and that will be your main dashboard instead of the regular 360s one so let's go ahead and pause the video here Alrighty, so about for five minutes or so, that's all it took for it to download all of its cover art for Aurora. So if I go ahead and hit Y over any game, you can see that it shows some synopsis and also just some characteristics about the game or just, you know, a brief description, which is pretty cool as well. Um, you can see if I have any achievements unlocked for this game. So it's pretty cool that what Aurora does and it gives like, you know, the dashboard a new kind of refacing. Um, you can see that, of course, all my cover arts here. But the main thing we want to focus on if we could launch any titles of choice. So what I'm going to do is just launch um, any title at random. I'm going to do Modern Warfare 2. Why not? And then um, once Modern Warfare 2 boots up, so you can see it running perfectly fine on my console. I'm just going to turn down my TV so my uh, like it doesn't go over my voice. But yeah, you can see that it's running perfectly fine. If I go ahead and back out from here, I'm going to rerun XEX menu. And then I'm going to showcase on how to basically get Aurora as your main dashboard. So the dashboard I'm on now, the regular original Xbox 360 is one. You won't see that because we're going to set this at boot. But I'm going to also show you guys on how to basically take it away as well um, for this process. So what we need to do is go into my games once again, go into XEX menu 1.2. And you'll need a dash launch for this as well. If not, if you don't already have it installed, I will have that in the link in the description down below. It's pretty simple and I will have that in a card as well. In episode one, I did teach you on how to install dash launch as well as XEX menu. So let's go ahead and run dash launch. It doesn't matter which version you have. I have two versions in here, but you could use the latest one. So we're gonna do version 3.21. Go into installer, default.xex. And then what we want to do is go hit A over paths and where it says default, this is where basically um, every time you boot up your 360, this is what um, 
dashboard it will run. So clearly it says none right now since it's using the regular 360s, but we're gonna go ahead and find Aurora. So we're gonna go to HDD, Aurora release package. We're gonna highlight the Aurora.xeex file. Then it's good. Hit RB on your controller, scroll down to HDD, hit X to save, and then right in the left-hand corner, it says settings have saved to basically HDD launch.any, which is the launch initiation file. So what I'm gonna do now is shut off my 360, and then I'm gonna show you guys when I boot it up, it's gonna basically boot in straight into Aurora. So let me go ahead and showcase that. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, you can see my 360 is now booting up as normal. So I'm just waiting for it to boot straight into Aurora dashboard. So let me go ahead and turn my controller. So yeah, as you saw in here, you've seen the original Xbox 360 boot logo. Now you see Aurora, we are straight into it. So now instead of seeing the original Xbox 360's plain dashboard, now we can, you know, launch games from here, which is, you know, pretty much very easy on how to do that. You're just literally clicking a button. But let's say you're not satisfied with this and you want to revert back to it. What we could do, like as I stated before, since we already set up dash launch via right here, because if I go into my settings, we, um, you know, scan right here and here's dash launch right here we set it as a homebrew so if i go ahead and back out go ahead and hit a and then if i go to paths all we would we have to do for this part is just go ahead and um delete this path so basically on how to do that let me go ahead and back out and i think you would have to hit y or delete so I accidentally went back out or back into Aurora, but I'll show you guys on how to do this pretty quickly real quick. Um, let me find it once again. I'm so used to um, playing with the PlayStation 3 controller, so I mess up my button configuration a lot when I'm on the 360. But if you go to paths, once again, go to here for default. I'm just gonna wait for the menu to pop up on the side if I don't touch my controller. So it'll probably tell me which button I need to delete with. So yeah, if I wanted to clear a path, all you gotta do is hit Y. So yeah, that's how simple it is. I know <laughs> probably 360 users wants to kill me right now because I don't know what the hell I'm really doing for like the dash launch. I'm keep messing up the buttons, but yeah, that's how essentially you would delete um, Aurora at boot. So now when you boot your system, it will go straight back into actual the um, 360s dashboard and then you'll just be fine. So hopefully I did teach you guys on how to set up your games within Aurora. I also taught you guys on how to set up cover art plus make an Xbox Unity account and as well on how to get this at boot. If you guys did enjoy all of the, um, you know, this guide and stuff like that and you enjoyed the series, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to comment if you have any questions. But with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace